Hi, everybody. My name's Ed Popolarczyk. I'm a magician, a balloon twister. That means I make things with balloons, hats, animals, flowers, mermaids, butterflies, motorcycles, lots of stuff. And a flea circus ringmaster. This is my flea circus. Your librarian and I thought it'd be kind of fun if we could tape a flea circus show for you, since we can't be at your library together at this point. Hopefully sooner than later we'll, we'll be back at your library, all sitting together, having lots of fun. But in the meantime, we thought this would be kind of fun for you guys. Now, if you want to find out where I'm going to be in the future, you can go to my website, edpop.com, and you can look at my schedule page, and I'll tell you when I'm going to be and when I'm going to be there. Now, I have three fleas performing for you today. I have Fifi, who is the acrobatic flea, Fernando, my daredevil flea, and Bruno, the world's strongest flea. Now, they're going to do lots of stuff. I have diving off a diving board into a pool of water, the trapeze, the high wire, lots of cool stuff for you guys to do. Well, if not for you guys to do, for you guys to watch, my fleas are going to do it. It'd be pretty hard for you guys to jump off that into a little pool of water. Now, Fernando, oh, by the way, I have three dogs and a cat, so I have an endless supply of fleas. That's where I get my fleas from. And I also have to train my fleas to walk. Fleas do not walk. They hop, and they do not hop in a straight line. They zigzag. So, to teach them to walk, I use a test tube. I put the fleas in the test tube, and when they start hopping, what do you think happens? Yeah, that's right. They bang their little heads on the top of the test tube. Doesn't hurt them, just gets annoying. Who wants to keep whacking their head in the top of a test tube or anything else for that matter? So after a while, they stop hopping, and because it's narrow, they start to walk. And that's why I train them to walk because if Fifi's on the high wire, you don't want her zigzagging, she'll come right off. So walking is very important. I also have my friend Chester over here. Say hey, Chester. Chester plays the cymbals for Fernando when he does his finale because he wanted actually a drum roll. I couldn't find, find drums small enough for the fleas to play, and I don't play the drums. So I thought Chester could play the cymbals for Fernando. Chester, show him how you do it, bud. That a boy. Now, okay, that's good. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Thank you. He loves playing the cymbals. So we got Chester, we got the fleas. I think we're ready to go. What do you guys think? Ready to roll? Awesome. Let's start with my buddy Fifi. And we're going to put her up on the trapeze. So we're it. Oh my goodness. Where else would she be? See, I have a little playground for them. And Fifi and Fernando love the teeter totter. So, of course, she's over by the teeter totter. Now, I'm going to put her on the trapeze right over there. Perfect. All right, Fifi, are you ready? Okay, start swinging. There you go. There you go. Come on. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Whoa, off to the other one. Nice, nice. Back. Good. Good, man. She, oh, back. Yes. Oh, look at her go. She is good at the, whoa. What? Oh, my gosh. Watch out. Holy cow. Chester said she landed right behind his ear, and there she is. Great job. Nice catch, Chester. All right. Good job, Fifi. We'll put you back over there for now. Oh, my gosh. Man, she really gets into that trapeze thing. She really flipped herself over on that one. Good thing Chester was over there to catch her. Wow. All right. Now, I think we should have Bruno do something for you folks. So what we're going to do, I have a block of wood. Not heavy for you or I, but for a flea, it would be extremely heavy. I'm going to set the block of wood over here. Stand up. Good. All right. Now, let me get Bruno. Ah, there he is. <laughs> over with his ball. Where else would he be? Come on, buddy. Come on. Hey, let go of the ball. Bruno, let go of the ball. Good. I'm going to put Bruno right over there. Perfect. Now, Bruno is going to get a good running head start and try to knock over that block of wood. Okay? So, Let's watch close. If you guys are here, I'd have you cheering for my fleas because they love enthusiasm. All right, you ready? Okay, Bruno, get a good running head start. Go, 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 go. Nice job. All right. 
Good job, Bruno. Not easy to do, you guys. It looks simple because it's such a small block of wood. But for Flea, this thing is huge. I think we should have all three Fleas do something for you at the same time. Now, let's get Bruno. Oh, yeah, he's still over here. Going to put him right up over there. Good. Let me get Fernando. Oh, right over here. Right there. And he's going to climb up onto feet, onto Bruno's shoulders. That's good. And then Fifi, right there over there. Set her right there and let her jump up on Fernando's shoulders. Perfect. Now, I have some rope. And what I'm going to do is ask Fifi to hold on to one of the ends to keep it up in the air. All right, let's see. I think we're going to use this one because it's got a lot of frayed ends over there. A lot of... A lot, of, a lot of stuff for her to grab onto rather than this big chunk of rope over there. All right, so here we go. Grab it. And wait. Oops. Hold on, hold on. She didn't quite have it. Okay, you ready? Got it? Get, oh, man. Okay, come on, Fifi. Are you ready? You got it? I think so. All right, good job. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Okay, you can let go. Nice. Good job, guys. Okay, you can hop on off over there. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's kind of get you guys down over here. We're going to put Fifi over there. We're going to put Bruno over there. And Fernando is going to go right there. Now, because we're going to have Fernando do the high dive into a little pool of water for you guys. He's already ready over there. Nice, nice, nice. So, he's going to walk up those rings, do a double somersault off the diving board into a pool of water. All right. Okay, Fernando. Are you ready, my friend? All right. Up the first one. Number two. Number three. Up onto the diving board. A double somersault. Oh, my gosh. There's one. There's two. Whoa! Oh, my gosh. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. I got to dry him off. <sighs> little hot air. <sighs> oh, that's perfect. Good job, Fernando. We're going to put you up over there for now. And, oh, my gosh. My magnifying glass is all wet. Going to dry that off. Oh, my goodness. Good job. Man, that is scary. You're not going to see me diving off a diving board into a little bowl of water. I'm not going to dive off a diving board into a big pool of water. <sighs> Fernando does all the scary stuff. Speaking of scary stuff, let's have Bruno do something for you. Let's move this block of wood. And I'm going to get, make sure I can put this down without hitting anybody. A hammer. We're going to put the hammer right there. Let me get Bruno up right there. Put Bruno right up over there. That is perfect. Now, what Bruno's going to do is make that hammer go up and down. Now, if I had one of you guys here with me today, I would ask you to say jump. No, no, not yet, Bruno. And when you said jump, he... no, not yet, Bruno. So I would ask you to say jump, oh, Bruno, not yet. I'm just explaining what you're going to do. You would say jump, and he would jump, oh, my gosh, and lift up that hammer like that. Okay, Bruno, jump. Okay, good. I think we got the idea. All right, bud. Hop off of there for me. Good job. Oh, my gosh. Sorry about that, you guys. He didn't understand that I was just explaining to you what was going to happen next. You know what? Let's have Fifi do something next. Let me get, I have over here a bell. What are you doing? No, 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 no. This is not that. This isn't even Fernando. This is going to be for Fifi. We have a little bell. And I'm going to put it right over there. I have it covered with a glass, which we're going to take off. I'm going to put Fifi inside. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Fifi and 
Oh my goodness. Fifi and Fernando are on the teeter-totter. Now come on, you guys. This is not playtime. This is showtime. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, Fifi, come on. Get over here. Right over there. That is perfect. I'm going to cover the bell like that. The Fifi inside. Now, when I ask her to, she's going to ring the bell, okay? So, are you ready, Fifi? Come on, ring the bell. Nice! Can you do it again? Good. Oh my gosh, keep going, keep going. Ring that bell, ring that bell. Okay, that's good, that's good. Oh my gosh, nice job, nice job. Let's uncover this, make sure Fifi jumps out. She's off, perfect. And you put the cover back on and put this whole thing right back over here. Great job, Fifi. Now, let's get a deck of cards. We're going to have Bruno do something for you. But I need Bruno. Oh! It's right over in here still. And put him right there and cover him with a thimble. Perfect. Because I don't want him to see this. I need some cards. God. Now, if you guys were here, I would actually have one of you hold on to Bruno. Now, when you hold the flea, you put him in your hand just like that. Okay? And you don't make a fist because you don't want to squish him just in case. You probably wouldn't because they are pretty tiny. You hold him right like that. And they don't bite. You might feel a little tickle, but that would be it. And I would put the thimble on your hand covering Bruno. But because you're not here, we're going to do it like that. He's covered like that. I've got a deck of cards. They're all a little bit different, you guys. All the cards are different. All right. And I'm going to have Bruno. Well, I can't have Bruno pick a card. And I can't have one of you guys pick a card because you're not here. So we're going to do this. I think that one right over there. Why not? He's covered by the thimble. See it? That's a good one. Shh. I'm going to put the card right back on top. I'm going to put it somewhere in the middle just like that. Now I'm going to remove the thimble and see if Bruno can't push your card out of the deck. Fleas can jump 10,000 times without taking a break. All right. You ready, my friend, Bruno? Off comes the thimble. Come on, jump, buddy. Jump. Keep jumping. Keep jumping. Keep jumping. He did it. Awesome. Can you guys clap for Bruno? I know he can't hear it because you guys are at home, but he'll be able to feel it. Great job, Bruno. Great job. Let's put those away. And I think maybe we'll have Fernando do something. No, 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 no. This is not it. Actually, I'm not going to have Fernando do something. I'm going to have Bruno do something else. But we're going to make it really hard this time. We're going to do another card thing, but we're going to make it harder. We're going to make it a lot. Stop that. Good job. Bruno, sorry, Chester, you get me all confused. We're going to use a box. And I'm going to put Bruno into this box. <laughs> Let's just set the box over there. And I need to find my friend Bruno. Ah, he's still there. Nicely done. Good job. Thank you for not making me hunt for you. Into the box, like that. I need those cards again. Lots of cards, you guys. Oh my gosh, they're all just a little bit different. All right, now. I'm going to do this. Yeah, one more. Right about there. Okay. Shh. Don't say it. I'm going to put the cards into the box. Oh, I hope I didn't land on Bruno. I wasn't thinking about that. I know. He's good. <laughs> Man, I got to pay attention sometimes. Now, Bruno is going to lift up the cover. And toss that card that we just picked out of the box. Okay, Bruno, pick it up. Come on. Pick it up. Pick it up. 
Okay, come on now, come on, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> harder, pick it up harder. Almost, get it up there. There you go. All right, buddy, toss out the card. Ow, he dropped it on my thumb. I think he did that on purpose. Okay, pick it back up. You are a joke maker, mister. All right, toss out the card now. Come on, I can't believe this. Toss it out. We got, hey, hey, what are you doing? Not all those cards. Just the one that we chose. And I don't see that one down there. Now, come on. All right, tell you what. Just lift it above your head. Just do that instead, okay? Get it and lift it. Oh, my gosh. Lift it. Lift it. Keep lifting. What it? Two of spades. Great job. Okay, Bruno, drop it on down. Oh, my gosh. He dropped that so fast. Are you okay? He looks good. All right, perfect. All right, Bruno. Up out of there, buddy. Good. All right. Oh, boy. Good to go. Good to go. And, you know, he's got to be pretty thirsty after doing all that. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. Let's give him a little bit of milk. Fleas love milk, especially Bruno. Okay, Bruno. You ready, buddy? Let's give you just a little bit of milk. We're going to move all this stuff for you. Cup over the edge. That's good. All right. Now let's give you just a little bit of milk here. I'm going to bend this straw down there like that for you. All right. Oh, my gosh, Bruno. Oh, my goodness. How much milk are you going to drink? Bruno. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. All right. That's way too much. Oh, man. I don't even need a magnifying glass to see him. All right. Now he's got to get a little exercise to work out that milk. Oh, my gosh. Let's put that over there. Let's get the merry-go-round. You guys ever, ever been on a merry-go-round before? Those are a lot of fun. We used to do those all the time. All right. Just stay right over there for me. All right. All right. Tell you what we're going to do, Bruno. Got to get some exercise. Let's put that over there. Oh, my gosh. You're... Tell you what, just come on over here. Just hop over there right by the entrance. That's good. We're going to push that over a little bit. Now, on this little horse right here, it's a brown horse with a blue saddle. There's a wire coming off with a little loop, kind of like a harness. Bruno's going to crawl into that loop and pull the merry go into a circle just to get a little exercise and work off all that milk he just drank because that's a lot of milk. All right, you ready, Bruno? Pull it, buddy. Come on, there you go. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep going. That's, don't stop. Keep pulling. <laughs> Chester, not now. Thank you. Okay, good. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, that's good, Bruno. Come on. Perfect. Climb on out of there. Good job. Oh, man. Now he's looking a little bit better. I can't believe he drank all that milk. That's a lot of milk for a little flea to drink, you guys. A lot of milk. I think it's time for Fernando. No, no, no. This is not the finale. It is time for Fernando to do something for you, though. And we're going to have him doing something really scary. I'm going to need... Well, scary for him, not for me. Well, sometimes it does scare me. A box of balloons. Let's get those balloons out of there. Ooh, lots of colors over here. Oh, my gosh. Lots of colors. Let's see. What, well, I got two yellow, so I'll use a yellow one. Ooh, that's good. And I'm going to put the balloon right over there. Here, try to keep it in place over there. So it's not floating all over the place. Now, Bruno's going to try and pop that balloon. Now, when the air comes out of that balloon... It's going to be like a hurricane, and it could push him against his backdrop, and he'd get hurt. So what I'm going to do is let him use the box for protection. Yeah, yeah. He's going to stand behind the box, jump over the box, pop the balloon, jump back over the box before the air can hurt him. All right? So let's put that box right over there. All right. Fernando, right over there. Good job. Now, whenever you're ready, Fernando, this part always scares me. I never know what... Ah, pop the balloon! Oh, my gosh, he did it. Excellent. Look at that, you guys. 
in great shape, no harm whatsoever, right over there. Holy cow. I, that always scares me because I never know when he's going to pop the balloon. He's got to get the, get, the, uh, get the energy ready to jump, pop, and jump back again. Oh, man, that always scares me. <laughs> All right. I think we should get my friend Fifi to do something for you guys. Because do you know what? It is so hard to do some of the stuff that Fifi does. Not just does it take agility and balance to do the trapeze and the high wire, but it takes strength, okay? So I'm going to get Fifi. Fifi. Oh, no, not again. Oh, my gosh. She and Fernando are back on the teeter-totter. See, Fernando thinks it's playtime because he just did one of his things. But Fifi, it's your turn. Come on over here. There you go. All right. We're going to show you how she does some strength, how strong she is, and then we're going to have her do the high wire for you. Okay. Let's get that test tube and a pencil. I'm going to put the pencil into the test tube. Let's put that there for a second. Fifi, that's good. Fifi is going to go into the test tube like that. I'm going to put the cover on it like that. Now, Fifi's going to try and lift that pencil up into the air. Okay, Fifi, come on, push it up. Uh oh, there she goes. There she goes. Good job. Not easy to do, you know, you guys. That pencil for you and I is light, but not for a flea. It's pretty darn heavy. Okay, try it again. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Hold it. Hold it. Excellent job. Excellent job. All right, Fifi, that's perfect. Showing everybody how strong you are. All right, why don't you hop out of there first? Good. Now stay right over there for me. and get rid of the pencil. Stay there. We're going to put this away. Plop that right back over there. Now I'm going to put Fifi up into the crow's nest. These are crow's nests, you guys. Right up into the crow's nest. Okay, Fifi, just hang there for me for just a minute. Now, if you've ever seen anybody do a high wire before, some people use an umbrella or a parasol to help keep their balance. Some use a pole. Fifi prefers the pole. Little pole, you guys. She loves the pole. I even saw at Circus Soleil once, I saw somebody on a bicycle riding on the high wire. And that person had somebody on their shoulders while they rode that. That was awesome. Now, Fifi's not going to do that. No bicycles. But she is going to walk across with the pole, which is just as awesome. So, I'm going to hold the pole up here. When she's ready, she'll jump out of the crow's nest onto the high wire and grabbing that pole. And I'll be able to feel it when she grabs it. Okay, you ready? Oh, I think she's got it. Okay, come this way. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Good job, good job. Okay, go back a little bit, now go slow. Slow, because now she's walking backwards, you guys. Slow. Now that's harder than walking forward. Slow. Don't get hurt. Okay, okay, okay. Back this way. Back this way. Come, 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 come. She's almost there. She's almost there. Let me grab this. Perfect. Good job, Fifi. Hop back up in that crow's nest for me. Oh, she did. Let me get you on out of there. That's good. And we'll put you over by the teeter totter. Oh, you're right, Chester. Chester says she did a great job. She did do a great job. That's not easy. You wouldn't catch me doing anything like that. Even if it was only a foot off the ground, I wouldn't try and do something like that. There's no way. Hey, you know what? Let's have Bruno do something else for you. Let's get, no, let's see. Where is he? Move some of this stuff. Okay. Stay right over there. It's already over here. That's perfect. I'm going to get a half dollar. 50 cents, bigger than a quarter, and I'm going to put it on a playing card, just like that. Now, I'm going to get Bruno and put him on 
the plain card. Let me just set that. Oops, let me make sure. <laughs> I want to set it on good old Bruno. Okay, now, all right. On the card, just like that. That's good. Now, what Bruno's going to try to do is to pick up that half dollar. Okay. He's going to crawl under the front edge. Come on, Bruno. And push it up. That a boy. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. That's good. Hold it. Hold it. Now let it down slowly. Slowly. Now as it gets closer to the bottom, he's got to jump out of there so the half dollar doesn't land on him. Slowly. If you think it's hard pushing it up, it's even harder letting it come down. Okay. Okay. Nice. All right. One more time. One more time. All right, Bruno. Pick it up. Pick it up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, hold it. Hold it. This part's not too hard because he's got it sitting on its edge, so he's just balancing it up there. But now the hard part is let it come back down. Okay, Bruno. Down. 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 Chester, don't distract him. All the way. All the way. Keep going. Perfect. Great job. Great job. You can hop off of there, Bruno. Perfect. Good job. Man, oh man. These fleas practice so long to do this stuff. I hope that you guys are having fun watching them. Because it's time for my buddy, Fernando. Yes, 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 yes. This is it. This is the finale, Chester. The time you've been waiting for. We're going to have Fernando crawl into that cannon. Actually, I'm just going to put him in the cannon. That'll probably be the easiest thing. Oh, he's up over here by the teeter-totter. Into the cannon, like that. I'm going to fire him out of the cannon, and he's going to land on a marshmallow. A nice, soft landing spot. We're going to put him right there. Now, let me just mark this off, okay? One, two, three, four, five. And move it down right about over there. That's perfect. Now, it's got to be perfect. Because it's as big as a landing spot as, as it is for, for Fernando. I don't want to miss, okay? Oh, boy. So, we're going to prepare the cannon for firing. All right. Are you ready, Chester? Make sure I'm back on my mark. Here we go. You ready, you guys? Watch close. On a count of three, Fernando shot out of the cannon, hopefully landed on that marshmallow. You ready, Chester? Play. Here we go. One, two, three. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. That's... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Check it out, you guys. Right on the marshmallow. Holy Toledo, that's awesome. Hop off over there for me. Oh, man. Good job, Fernando. We've never missed. If one of you guys was here with me today, I would have had you hold on to that marshmallow while I shot Fernando onto it. I feel, would actually have felt more comfortable with you holding the marshmallow than me just kind of setting it on the table over there. Because if you see him coming, if the wind moves a little bit, you could have moved your hands a little bit to try to catch him. On the table, there's no error. It's got to be perfect because I can't move the table. Holy cow. Well, I hope you guys had some... Yeah, that's it, Chester. I apologize, but that's it. I hope you guys had fun. I, I, I thank you for watching. And don't forget to visit your library often. Take out lots of books. Do lots of reading. You can read about magic. That's how I started doing magic. I went to my library. You can learn about flea circuses at the library. I'm sure they even have books on balloon twisting at your library where you can learn how to make little mice and dogs and giraffes and stuff like that. So read a lot. And again, if you want to see where I'm going to be, it's edpop.com. Guys, thanks so much. Have a great day. I hope I get to see you in person soon. Take care.